Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I have another Dollar Tree project for you today, but not only that, we're gonna be hacking a Pier 1 Imports product that I found on my hunt for a new planter for our fiddle fig. Let me show you how I have it displayed right now. It's a Ikea plant in an Ikea planter and I love it, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but I did want something a little more natural looking. So I was on the hunt for something just a little bit different when I came across this photo from Pier 1 and thought I could make that using Dollar Tree supplies. So that's what we're gonna do today, except we're gonna create ours on a budget. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's a look at the supplies that you'll need for this project. And of course the main items are from Dollar Tree. So I have two of these big planters. And then I have seven of these bundles of nautical rope here. I'm not quite sure how many it's going to take. Hopefully seven is enough. I also have some extra back there that was left over from another project. So I just have plenty on hand and I'll let you know at the end how many of these I end up using. And I also purchased some duct tape, which is like a burlap finish on it. I got that from Walmart. I have a lot of hot glue sticks on hand, as well as my glue gun and a pair of scissors. Now the main thing about these planters, what I was looking for was this edging here. I wanted it really smooth and I didn't want the kind that sort of had the edge that was folded over and it had that underneath rim part because we're going to flip these on top of each other like this and I wanted a nice smooth transition from one to the next so there wasn't a big lump or bump once I go to wrap the planter up. All right, so I brought my fig plant in here and I need to actually cut this down because when this is upside down on here, uh, it's, it's not gonna be, the bottom of it's not big enough for me to be able to put the plant in there. And I wanna be able to take the plant in and out. I don't wanna make it to where this is built around it and then I'm forever stuck with this pot. So I'm measuring the pot size here. It's about seven and a half to eight inches wide. So I wanna make sure I cut this down so I have at least an eight inch opening once this is put on the top of there. And that way I can remove the pot in and out from this planter depending on the holiday or season if I wanna switch it out. Okay, so I'm down in my workshop now and I've drawn a line. This is like five and a half inches up. So this is the bottom and I'm going to cut it around this line. It's about the width I think I need it for that plant to fit in there. So I've drawn my line there and I'm going to use my drill to drill a little hole in there so I can get my tin snips and just sort of cut all the way around the flower pot. All right, so here it is cut down and it does have a pretty rough edge on it, but that's okay because I'm gonna cover it up with the rope here in just a little bit. And just wanna make sure that the opening is where I need it and it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this upstairs and start putting it together. All right, so now I'm back upstairs and it's time to put this all together. So my plan is to add hot glue all the way around the edge. Set this on top here and then use this duct tape. This is burlap duct tape that I got from Walmart that I thought would blend well with the rope going over it. Uh, Dollar Tree does have duct tape, so you could get black or whatever color they have to and use Dollar Tree instead. Um, but this is what I had on hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I have lots of glue sticks out and ready, and I'm just gonna start wrapping the rope starting at the bottom and I'll work my way up. All 
If you aren't already, you can follow me over on my social media pages, both on Facebook and on Instagram, and get sneak peeks and behind the scenes of upcoming tutorials. I'll have those both linked down in the description box below. And here's what it looks like after the first package of rope has been added. And why don't we do something fun? Take a second right now, go down in the comments and guess how many packages of rope this is going to take to cover. I'm gonna guess six. So hopefully I have, I have seven and some extra. Hopefully I don't have to go back to the store and get more, but I am hoping six is all it takes to cover this whole thing. So go guess down in the comments below, and then at the end of this video, we'll see who is right. I also wanted to add a tip, and these come with tape around the ends to keep the ends from unraveling. Remove that tape because you don't want little shiny things all around your planter when it's all done. So I'm just doing that as I go along, taking the tape off before I start a new one. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep wrapping. Well, it took seven and I still have a little bit to go. So I'm so glad my last project didn't use all of this because I'm gonna use that open pack to finish up the top. So I was wrong, but were you right? Let me know down in the comments below.
Thank you all so much for joining me for today's tutorial. This one cost about $10 worth of supplies from the Dollar Tree and lots of hot glue. I love being able to stay on a budget and still get the look of the high-end versions like you saw in today's tutorial. I hope that this video inspired you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Also, hit the subscribe button. Stick around because I bring you new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you all so much again. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.